praise the Lord. I'm going to try a little song here that I like. Maybe, amen, we'll go into the Word here for a little bit this morning. Uh, try the A chord, if you will. Friends, don't worry about this heavy load I carry. If it sends me to my knees, for I know a place where all my load will light up, and I'll be all right as soon as I.
see Taylor, good to see her husband with us, I know his name, but my mind, Jacob, amen, good to see them with us this morning, I'm glad that we can touch the Lord, aren't you, we can touch Calvary, amen, when we're in need, he has made a way, I thought about uh, when the Bible speaks about that veil that was opened and rent uh, from the top to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top. Amen. There was an entrance made into the holies of holies where we can come, the Bible said, humbly but boldly to the throne of grace and we could obtain help in our times of need. And I'm so grateful today, amen, that I, can, that I have access to God Almighty, amen, when I have a need, amen. I'm in the book of 2 Kings this morning. I'm not going to stand before you very long today. Amen. But in the seventh chapter of the book of 2 Kings, I want to read a few verses that's very familiar to the Bible readers this morning. Uh, 2 Kings 7th chapter, verse 1, And Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then a Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shall not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. And they arose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of, of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses and even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight, left their tents and their horses and their asses even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went in to the tent and did eat and drink and thence and carried thence silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and come again and entered into another tent and carried thence also and went and hid it. Amen. Ask the Lord to touch us this morning, if you will. Praise the Lord. I love you today, Father, and I honor you, God, today. This opportunity, Lord, once again, as I stand before this people this morning. Lord, this is a serious moment of time. God, today, and I need you, Lord, to speak to us, touch our mind of God. God, touch us this morning that we might deliver, God, that that's needed in this house this morning. And we'll give you a praise in the church said. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I want you to look back with me in verses number five real quick this morning. And the Bible said they arose up in the twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. Now look, if you will, 
in verse number 7. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses even to the camp, the camp as it was and fled for their lives. Amen. I want to talk to us just for a few moments here this morning. I looked that word twilight up to try to determine the definition for that word twilight. And according to my understanding, what I've seen in the dictionary, there's really not a real clear description of what twilight is. It could be uh, twilight could mean just after the setting of the sun. And now we have, you have entered into the dark time. The sun has set and now it's twilight. Or it, the definition also meant that it could be uh, just before the rising of the sun in the morning. Uh, but both of the definitions indicated that it was at dark. It was dark time. Amen. There was darkness. And uh, this, this scriptures that we've read here, amen, this morning, we find that these four lepers, men, Amen. They were in desperate need. They were dying. The Bible tells us they they had uh, they had been there. Amen. They said one to another, uh, "Why sit we here until we die?" Amen. They realized that there was death working in their lives, and that they could not continue to stay in the place where they were if they did. Ultimately. They were going to die. Praise God. Amen. And so we find, amen, they've made it up in their mind as they begin to consider this. They knew, amen, that if they entered into the city, uh, the Bible says here, then the famine is in the city. Amen. We shall die there. And if we sit here, we're going to die also. But the only thing that they can come up with is says, let us fall into the host of the Syrians. Uh, said it may be that they would save us alive, praise God, and we shall live, but if they kill us, we shall but die. Amen. They already uh, was what you might say up against the wall. They were looked like death was going to cause them, amen, in just a little bit to, to die, amen, from starvation, praise God. But the Bible said they rose up in the twilight. Praise God. Rose up in the twilight. Uh, while they rose up, amen, in that dark moment of time, amen, it was darkness. Praise God. While they rose up, I noticed, amen, thank God, that God was also working in the twilight. Amen. God was working in the darkness. Amen. For the Bible said, that the Syrians, uh, the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a great noise of chariots, the noise of horses, and the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to come upon us. And the Bible said, Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight. Praise God. In that even dark time, in that moment of darkness, even God was working. God was working. The enemy, even looked like, even if they would have fell into the hands of the enemy, they might have died. Amen. But they said, if we sit here, amen, we're going to die. Praise God. But in the twilight, amen, in that moment of darkness, they arose up, praise God, and they decided we're going to Amen, to try to go, amen, where there we might be able to find some help. Praise the Lord. And I got to thinking about this, and I just maybe speak to you for a few moments here today. Amen, every single one of us in our life is going to face, amen, some moments, amen, to where we're going to be in the twilight of our lives. Amen, darkness, praise God, is going to cover our lives. Amen. The Bible teaches us that the world that we're living in this morning is darkness. Amen. The Bible said darkness is in the land. 
Amen. And it said gross darkness has covered over the people. Amen. We are, amen, I could say this morning, I believe we are in a dark time. Amen, we are in a dark moment of time across this nation and our country. Praise God, darkness is in the land. I talk to saints of God far and near, different places and things, amen, that they are facing in their life, moments of trials and hardships, amen, that they are dealing with, praise God. Amen, the Bible teaches us, friend, amen, that this life we're going to have trouble, praise God. In this life, we're going to have problems, amen. Just because we serve in God does not mean, amen, that there's going to be, amen, no trouble that's going to come our way. Amen, my friend, there's going to be some times, amen, brother, that we're going to find ourselves, amen, in some dark times, amen, not knowing, amen, which way to go or what to do. Amen, thank God. But I thought as I read this, amen, they were dying, amen, and yes, it was dark, but they made it up in their mind. The Bible said they rose up in the twilight, praise God, in the darkness. They got up from where they were and they decided, amen, I'm not going to sit here, amen, and die, even though it's dark all around me and I can't see, amen, I'm not going to sit here and let myself die. And I felt like the Lord urged me to tell somebody this morning, you have the option today, amen, of sitting where you are, amen, or getting up, praise God, even when it's dark and you're in the twilight of your life, you've got to do something, amen, to get up and live, amen. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. There's going to be some times, amen, my friend, that the devil's going to tell you there's no use, amen, just sit there, amen, and die. Praise God, but my friend, these men got up, amen, in the twilight of the night. And while they were up, making their way to the enemy's camp, amen, in the middle of the night, amen, God was already working in their behalf. The Bible said he caused them Syrians to hear a great noise. Amen, and the Bible said they fled, amen, from out of their camp. Let me tell you something this morning. Amen, brother, the time of the day does not matter to God. Amen. Whether the sun is at noon and the sun shining bright, amen, or it's dark as midnight, it doesn't matter to God Almighty. Amen. He is at work for us this morning. We don't have to sit there, amen, and die, my friend. Amen. It's time, hallelujah, even though it's twilight, we've got to get up, amen, and go forward for God. Hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Amen, my friend. Amen, there's gonna be some hard places in your life. Amen, I can remember as a young boy, amen, my mother going through one of the hardest trials of her life. Praise God. Amen, her son uh, had, amen, been raised in church. I've been raised in church. My whole family raised in church. Her son, amen, done, amen, such a terrible, awful crime. Amen, that they throwed him in prison and put him in, my brother, put him in prison. Amen, and uh, brother, it was such an awful time. Amen, they had printed it in the newspaper. Amen, and put his picture in the newspaper, sent it all over. Amen, uh, the big city where we lived. And I'm going to tell you, amen, my mother, she was a born again Christian. Amen, she is a Holy Ghost filled woman. But I'm going to tell you, she faced, amen, the twilight of her life. She faced a dark time of her life, a time, amen, Sister Rachel, where she didn't even want to come out of the room, amen, a time where she went in, amen, in darkness, praise God, didn't want to answer the telephone, amen, didn't want to have anything to do with anybody, praise God, and she was in that place, my friend, amen, and it looked like, amen, there was no way out, hallelujah, and I want to say this to us this morning, amen, if you haven't never faced that moment of time, Amen. Just because you're a Christian does not exempt you from it, my friend. Amen. But my, amen, God is talking to us this morning. He's God on the mountain. He's God in the valley. He's God in the day. And he's God in the night. Praise God. Thank God it may be darkness all around you, but you 
cannot sit there. Amen. You're going to have to get up and go where God is and receive the help of God that you need in your life. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I'll tell you, friend, once they got up from that place in the middle of the twilight and they made their self down to the enemy's camp. Hallelujah. Amen. My friend, they got down there and when they got there, God had already worked for them. Glory to God. Glory to God. You see, in that dark time, the devil talks. In that dark time, the devil puts all kinds of thoughts in your mind. Hallelujah. He tries, amen, to fill your mind with doubt. Hallelujah. Amen. He puts all kinds of, amen, fear and anxiety within us. Amen. You know what he's wanting to do? He's wanting to paralyze us. Come on, church. Amen. I've never seen a time, amen, where it looked like fear, amen, has seen been so prevalent, amen, across our world and our church world. The devil knows if he can paralyze us, amen, with fear, amen, and anxieties and, and worries, amen, we'll sit right there, my friend, and we'll lose our victory and we'll lose our strength with God, amen. But these men, they got desperate. They realize we can't last much longer. Amen. In the shape that we're in, the condition that we're in, we've got to do something. And I felt the Lord tell me to preach to somebody. You can't keep going the way you're going. Amen. You won't last much longer. Thank God you're going to have to make it up in your mind. Amen. I can't sit here. I've got to get up. Amen. I've got to go where there's help. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen, brother. I remember when I got saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. That's been years ago. And thank God, God is good. God is good. Amen. But I'll tell you what, I can set still until I lose every bit of the blessings that God has given me. Amen. Brother Woodrow asked me this morning. I didn't know he was going to ask me the question. I was sitting there beside him. He asked me. He said, Brother Andrew, what does it really take, amen, to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Amen. I, I guess, you know, Brother Woody asked you things like that. you got to think about it a little bit. Praise God. And I said, Brother Woody, the only thing I can tell you, it takes the same thing it took to get saved. It takes the same thing it took to get sanctified. Amen. If you'll do that same thing, Brother you can get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But if you sit down and do nothing, amen, brother, you won't never get, amen, the blessings of God. You won't never get sanctified. Amen, just sit down being satisfied, being saved. Amen, but my friend, if you're going to get something from God, you're going to have to get up, amen, and go receive what God's got for you, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, Amen, it ain't the fact that God don't still have plenty. Amen, he still got abundant supply. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, amen, if you delight yourself in the Lord, amen, he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Glory to God, delight yourself in the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Oh, what does that mean? Amen. That means, praise God, that you're really happy about what God's done for you, what God's gave you. Amen. Thank God and sister, what I found out is where God, what God gave me, where it come from, there's plenty more at that same place. Hallelujah. I wish I could give folks the Holy Ghost. Amen. I wish I could give folks the blessing. Amen. But only thing I can tell them, amen, brother, you have to go to the same place I got mine. Amen, brother. You'll have to go to the altar and begin to seek God. Amen. And brother, God is no respecter person. Thank God if he done it for one, he'll do it for another. Hallelujah. Those five foolish virgins, they said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps have gone out but the five wise said not so amen lest there not be enough for 
I sent you. He said, but you go to the same place that we went to. You go down yonder to the same place and you'll find they've got oil. Amen. I want to tell somebody this morning, you're not going to sit there and get what you need from God. You're going to have to get up, amen, and go forward to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the twilight, hallelujah, they got up. Amen. Darkness all around them. Glory to God. They didn't let it stop them. Hallelujah. They said we're dying if we don't get up and do something. Hallelujah. Amen. My friend, that's what God put upon my heart to share with somebody this morning. Amen. You're facing that twilight. You're facing that dark time. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of, can I say this as, as lovely as I know how? Instead of running away from what you need, you need to run toward what you need from God. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Oh, amen. When you get desperate enough, praise God, and you realize, amen, I'm not going to make it. I thought about Brother, Brother Fred sitting back there, gave his wonderful testimony the other day. Amen. He had done went down, I think, two or three times in the water, had his wade boots on. The water had filled his boots up. Amen. He said, I was going down for the last time, didn't have enough strength. Amen. To even get back up. Praise God. He said, just something spoke to him and said, raise both of your hands up as high as you can get them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, you know, if he hadn't have done that, just that little simple thing, praise God, they, they wouldn't have never known where he was. Amen. But he said he rose both of his hands up and he said his little fingertips. Amen. Was sticking up out of the water. And those men that was on top of that machine was able to reach down where he was and found his location. Amen. And helped pull him up out. Amen. Of that water. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Just a little small thing. Just put your hand up. Amen. Oh, glory. Don't die. Do whatever it takes, my friend. Amen. To live. Praise God. Get up. Amen. The devil says you're going to die. Amen. And you're not going to make it, amen. Well, the devil's a liar and the father of a lie. Thank God he wants you to sit there until you perish and you die. But the Holy Ghost is telling us this morning, thank God it may be midnight, but you don't have to go under. You don't have to die. Thank God raise your hand, amen. Reach out and get the help that you need from God. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Mama just couldn't keep going like she was going. Amen. Hallelujah. She kept on. Amen. Until she prayed. Amen. And she touched the throne of God. Amen. And she had to get up from where she was. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost here this morning. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Across the churches today. Amen. The Pentecostal churches. Amen. I want to say this this morning as, 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 as light and as loving as I can. Amen. If we could really survey this morning how many people in the church, amen, is spiritually paralyzed. Amen. Sitting in the church, spiritually paralyzed. I mean, they're still in the church. Praise God. They come to church. Praise God, but they're facing situations in their life. Hey, but they don't know what to do about it. Praise God, and the devil's got them right where he wants them. I'm preaching to you this morning right here. Amen. My heart today. Amen. I've seen them. Listen to me. I've seen them. Praise God. They got in that twilight place in their life. Amen. They didn't know what to do. Praise God. And they sat there paralyzed. And they didn't move. And they didn't move. Amen. Until I started seeing. Amen. Things begin to happen. Amen. In their spiritual life with God. Amen. One time they testified. One time they sat up close to the church. Amen. At one time they frequented the altar. Amen. They would come and pray when the altar call was given. Amen. But because of that darkness that come into their life. Amen. My friend. They sit there paralyzed. I get worried. Hear me this morning. I get worried. Amen. When I see somebody that says they know God. And they've got no desire. Amen. To get where God's at. Amen. They've got no desire to move forward. Amen. With God. The devil's got them set still right where he wants them, amen. You can't sit still right on and on and on and on. 
wall. Amen. After a while, my friend, you'll begin to slide backwards. Amen. You'll begin to move backwards. And I've seen it happen too many times. Amen. Why sit we here? Amen. Until we die. Amen. It's time this morning. Amen. To realize God's got your help today. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. The devil's come to me plenty of times. Amen. Thank God. Don't preach today. Amen. Don't pray today. Praise God. Amen. Just put it off. Glory to God. Amen. You know what? After a while, amen. Thank God if I'm not careful. Brother Chris, I like what you said this morning. I like to feel the Holy Ghost every day. Said a day went by, you didn't feel him. And then uh, he said another day went by and didn't feel him. Oh, my Lord, help us. Hey, Amen. How in the world can we go a week at a time? Hey, Amen. A month at a time. And then and, 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 and not even feel hey, Amen. the closeness and the relationship that we have with God Almighty. Oh, da, 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 bo, son, da, da, ba, yeah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God. I don't shout every time I come to church. Amen. I don't shout every time in my altar when I'm at home. I'm telling you what, I at least want to feel a little tug of the Lord. Amen. The presence of God. Amen, brother. I can't go day after day after day. Amen. Month after month without feeling. Amen. The presence of Almighty God. Thank God these men, they were in darkness. They were dying. But they said we're not going to sit here Amen we might have to go down to the enemy's camp And they might kill us But it might be that they might save us alive Amen my friend it wasn't the enemy Amen that saved them alive But God Almighty Amen he's bigger than every devil God Almighty He's bigger than every amen demon of hell Thank God forever Amen but when the enemy comes in like a flood the Bible said the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the enemy thank God that's what happened amen the enemy didn't save them amen but God drove amen my Lord he drove the enemy amen out of the camp hallelujah amen and those four leprous men they went walking into that camp amen and they went into the tents and they found meat and they found drink and they found raiment and they found clothes thank God forever the devil wants to paralyze you he don't want you to get what God's got for you but the Holy Ghost is trying to tell somebody don't sit here until you die get up it might be dark get up it might be in the midnight Amen. but God will go before you my friend oh hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise it. Oh, hallelujah. 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 What you're missing out on, it ain't because God's trying to withhold it from you. I said, what you're missing out on, it ain't because God's withholding it from you. It's right out there. Hallelujah. I listened to somebody the other day, and I'm about to believe what they said. They said, you know what we need to do? Amen. We need to start getting some spiritual boldness. Glory to God. Amen. We need to start getting, amen, God help us. Amen. Uh, I believe the Bible said, since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violent, and the violent take it by force. Amen. We need some spiritual teeth. Glory to God. Amen. We need some spiritual, amen, strength from God. Amen. To square our shoulders back and look the devil square in the eye and let him know, amen, my God. Amen. You've come against us. Amen. 
pray with all of your force in darkness. But our God is greater. Thank God our God is greater. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God don't let your devil intimidate. Amen. Your life, if you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb of God, amen, from the devil, amen, where he belongs this morning. He don't belong nowhere else. Amen. But under our feet, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Let the devil know you a child of God and stand your ground. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The twilight of your life. The night is coming. Hallelujah. But what are you going to do in the night? Hallelujah. You see, Brother Frankie, I don't have the switch to control when it's day and when it's night. Only God does that. And we're appointed sometimes, the Bible said, in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a time and a season for all things. We are appointed sometimes to the mountains and sometimes to the valleys. Sometimes it's day, sometimes it's night. What are we going to do, amen, when we're facing the twilight of our lives? Amen. I want to say this to you this morning. It may be dark, but you can still have hope. I said it may be dark, but you can still have hope. Hallelujah. Amen. What kind of hope you talking about, Brother Smith? That hope that the Bible said weeping may endure for the night. Amen. But joy is going to come in the morning. Glory to God. Amen. It's dark right now. Amen. But I've got hope. Praise God. I'm not going to lose hope. I'm not going to sit here and die. Praise God. I'm going to keep that hope, amen, alive in my heart. Because joy, amen, when the sun comes up, amen, when the sun begins to arise, amen, I'm going to find, amen, there's going to be joy, hallelujah, for our lives, amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The devil has won most of his converts, those that have left the church and backslid on God. The devil's won them in the twilight of their walk with God in darkness. You see, when the sun's shining and we're shouting and we got victory, the devil knows he don't hardly have a chance. My mama told me one time, she said, Andrew, she said, the devil's a dirty old fighter. Said, when you're down, he jumps on you with both feet. He tries to stomp you out. He tries to do away with you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why we need to have the whole arm of God on, be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the reason why we need to stay in the house of God. We need to frequent the altar and keep a prayer life with God. We need to be, somebody said there ain't no use in coming to church. I'm telling you in the darkness that we're dealing with in this old world today. Hey, but you need to be in the house of God. You need to be, amen, in fellowship with the saints of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said we walk in the light as he is in the light. Amen. We have fellowship. One with another. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when I'm down, amen, and I'm going through the midnight of my life, I need somebody. Thank God to wrap their arms around us. Thank God somebody to say, come on, Brother Smith. Amen. The morning's coming. Don't give up. Don't give in. Amen. The sun's going to shine again. Stay in there. Thank God. Hallelujah. But the devil knows if he can get you on an island all by yourself, all alone in that midnight hour, that's how the devil wins most of his converts. Hallelujah. But God, if it has so designed his church and his salvation plan, thank God. Somebody said, Brother Andrew, do you believe in eternal security? Once saved, always saved. I don't believe in it like a lot of the folks do. But I believe that once you get saved, 
Thank God, God's got enough of keeping power. And he's made such a way. I believe Sister Baltman preached about the provisions of God. God has made such provisions. My friends, you don't never have to go back into Egypt again. You don't never have to backslide and go back to the world again. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to me. Thank God. I didn't say you wasn't going to have to go back to the well once in a while. Amen. But if you keep going to the well, amen, if you keep going to Jesus, if you let Jesus keep filling your soul, thank God, brother, you won't want the world. Thank God. He said, if you drink of this water that I shall give you, you shall never thirst again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've just been overwhelmed and overthrilled in my soul. Amen. I've been watching something. Amen. Wednesday night and this morning. Praise God. Uh, this young lady, thank God, she said, I give my heart to the Lord three months ago. I don't even know her name. I'm sorry. I don't know her name. But I've been watching her the whole service. Praise God. While we've been singing, while I've been preaching, big tears falling out. She's a worshiping and a praising God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. What am I going to say to that young lady this morning? If she'll keep going that way, she don't never have to go back into sin again. Praise God. If she'll keep pressing her way on, thank God God will take her all the way to glory. Amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You don't have to die. You don't have to lose out. Thank God, get up from where you are and get the help that you need from God. Stand all over the church, hallelujah. Somebody go to the piano this morning. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Darkness, we all have to deal with it. Glory to God. Amen. Twilight of our lives. Amen. We have to deal with it. Glory to God. But we don't lose hope in the middle of all of it. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is there to help us. Thank God. I've been pastoring here long enough. Amen. That I can look at some of your lives and know there's some situations you're dealing with. Some dark times. I've seen it come into your life. Praise God. And I've watched some of them get up and get what they need from God and God bring them through it. And all at the same time, I've watched some. God help me. The Holy Ghost reached out to them. The message God gave to them. God tried to give them hope. I asked one, he told me one day, he said, Brother Smith, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. I said, my friend, I got one question. I said, have you felt God deal with you? When we give the altar call, have you felt the drawing of the Holy Ghost? He said, yes, sir. I said, but you're telling me it's going to take time. And God's reaching out right now. God's drawing you right now. You say, it's going to take time. There's no better time. Then when you feel the drawing of God, that's nothing but a trick of the devil to keep you paralyzed where you won't move for God. The altar's open for everyone that's in the house of God this morning. Amen. Thank God. Come talk to the Lord. Amen. All over the church, come to the altar. Amen. Let's pray this morning. Hallelujah. God bless you. Appreciate you. Amen. Hallelujah. I give you my heart this morning. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise God.